Welcome friends here to part two of our Nugget tutorial series. Today we want to look at area IDs and how to attach them to our created map in Nugget. First of all, I want to show you what these um, area IDs are. Here you can see our tutorial map where we um, attach the alpha layers at the last part of our uh, series. And now we want to talk about the area IDs. You can see here in the upper right corner, we have a small window. If we click here on this little frame um, where we see our area IDs, we see that we only have one area ID at the moment and that's 761. That's our map ID and this is created by default. But now we want to do some own areas therefore we need to go into our db files and search up for area table open it with the um, um, dbc editor get into it scroll down to the bottom and there you can see i've already set up uh, some area ids for my own map and now we want to create a new one first of all we need to set up the continent, so the parent area ID, which will be uh, 761. Therefore, we are creating a new line. Copy an already existing line. I would advise you to copy like um, Kalimdor or, um, or um, the Eastern Kingdoms and just paste it into your newly created string. Here at the second column uh, for content, uh, continent ID, we will enter our map ID. That's the 761. As peria, uh, pa <laughs> so, sorry, parent area ID, we will leave this one at zero. As area bit, we are choosing any random number, which is not taken by any other uh, map or continent. Um, till 4500 don't go over 4500 4, don't ask me why but just don't do it now we will name the zone um, in general we will name it tutorial this is our parent uh, area id which is basically the whole map right now and this will be called tutorial or we will name it tutorial parent. You can also use space in here. I will use a space now. That's no problem at all. So now we are creating a second line. Paste all this again. Do 761 here because that's our continent. That's the map ID of our tutorial map here, which you can see. But here we need to add a parent area ID, which we created here. So you just type in the parent area ID, which is um, 8909 and choose again the area bit of your parent area. Now we can name this area ID something different or this um, area something different. Um, as example, tutorial child one tutorial child one and then we are going to create a second or a third um, area we can leave all this here use the same area bit the same parent id and the same continent id now we are going to name this one tutorial child two and we are going to save that now close nugget um, we're going to save that now you see we have our parent area id which is basically the whole zone then we have our tutorial child one and our tutorial child two which are the two child area ids we will now paint in nugget doing area ids in nugget is very very simple and i will now show you how to do it we're going on to our tutorial map and if you now go into the area ID, you see we have tutorial parent, our um, 
parent area ID, which is, like I said, the whole map. This green here is the whole uh, map. And now we are going to attach tutorial parent, tutorial child, you can read this here right now, tutorial child one. We are going to make this part of the map here, tutorial child one, just hold shift and left click and paint all these blocks here like this now we are going to hit this one our tutorial child 2 and do it on the other side here you can see all this area IDs do have different colors so you always know which um, area ID you are painting you can also like um, select the other one and paint over it if you want. You can also select the parent and pay over it if you want. Um, but here, we, oh sorry, but here we want to do the child to just paint it like that. And you see now we have three different zones. The normal tutorial map. We will also paint it with our tutorial parent over here like this and now we have painted all our zones here and that's basically all now save all tiles we have saved these area IDs now and um, now I will show you in game how this looks because we are basically already finished so see you in game so here we are in game and um, now we will join our map and you can already see tutorial parent. This is where we painted our tutorial parent part in this part here. And if we are now going to the left, we see tutorial child 2 and you also see that over here and you see the parent is the tutorial parent, the actual complete map here. and in the line below like I don't know how to show you this right now ah like this here you see tutorial parent this is the complete map like I said and here you can see tutorial child this is the area of our tutorial parent in our map here and if we are now going to the other side you can see here we will go to the other oh <laughs> to the other side here we are again a tutorial parent and if we're going to here we are going to tutorial child one our other um area id we attach to our tutorial map you see it's, it's very very simple to create area ids for your map you can paint this all over nugget and just have to edit some small things in your dbc and it just works perfect. One thing I forgot to mention, what is very important for your, um, uh, for this to work, you have to move, I will show you that, wait. Uh, you have to move your edited, um, where do we have it? Area table, am I blind? Oh, I moved it permanently, that's not good. Um, you have to move the uh, file we added here, the area table, to your core data DBC. There we go. This is very, very important. And also, you have to go into your custom made patch, which is this one here, for example. Place, of course, the map inside the maps folder can see here and also place the area table into your DB files client into your patch that's very very important for the players to um, be able and also for your staff members to see the area IDs in general every changes if you're changing any DBC always place it into your patch your server and yeah that's what you need to do to get this working hope you enjoyed my little tutorial it was a quite short one hope you could learn something new 
now I will paste my area table back in here because because that's my working space here. Would advise you to also um, do a workspace. If you want to, a tutorial about how to set up a workspace, you can also do that if you want. Um, yeah, that was basically the tutorial for the area IDs for your custom created maps. You can get back in, uh, in game to see your three painted area IDs. Hope you enjoyed. I wish you a wonderful day, night, noon, afternoon, whatever time it is where you live. And stay nice, create new content, and goodbye.